My phone rang, and once again, it was my mother. This marked her fifth call, inquiring about my arrival time. Returning home by train, it was already six o'clock in the evening, and my train was due to reach the station at eight, having been granted a one-month holiday by my office. I was on my way back to my hometown to be with my mother. Surprisingly, this time, her excitement about my arrival was palpable. I found it odd, as she had never been this thrilled before. Nevertheless, I attributed it to her missing me, finally departing from the station at eight, I went straight home. As I opened the door, there stood my lovely mother. Oh, my dear son, you're finally back home, she said with tears in her eyes. I hugged her, sensing the emotion on her face, we proceeded to the living room, and I settled on the sofa, exhausted from my long journey. Mom, please bring me a glass of water, I requested. However, she didn't fetch it, instead, she sat beside me, wearing a peculiar smile. Your water is coming, she said, still smiling. At that moment, a beautiful young lady, approximately 22 years old, entered the room with a glass of water. She seemed nervous and shy, and I could sense her discomfort. I thanked her as I took the glass. My mother's eyes shone when she saw her, and she introduced her as Lucy, our new house helper. We proceeded to the dining table for dinner, and Lucy went to the kitchen for some work. Later, my mother shared with me that Lucy had lost her parents the previous week, leaving her with no place to live. Touched by her plight, my mother decided to help her, and that's how Lucy became a part of our household. The next morning, I dressed and joined the breakfast table where Lucy and my mom had prepared my favorite breakfast. Lucy, still shy, stood while my mother insisted she join us. As I observed her closely, I noticed she had blue eyes like mine, creating an unexpected connection with plans to buy clothes for Lucy. My mother claimed exhaustion and asked me to accompany her. As we shopped, I discovered our similarities and, later, we shared a coffee, exchanging stories about our lives. It was a delightful day, and we returned home around 6 p.m. Contrary to my expectations, my mother was pleased that we had spent time together and even suggested I take Lucy to the park the next day. Puzzled by my mother's intentions, I decided to confront her that night. After dinner, I questioned my mother about her peculiar behavior, suspecting her motives. To my surprise, she expressed her genuine love for Lucy and emphasized wanting her to feel like a part of our family. I didn't press further and went to bed, contemplating the situation. Early the next morning, I decided to propose to Lucy. I bought a ring and prepared a romantic setting in the backyard. However, my mother's reaction was far from what I expected. She fainted upon seeing us, and a doctor advised against stressing her in a private conversation. My mother confessed her aversion to Lucy becoming my wife. This revelation left me conflicted, but I was determined to follow my heart. Angry and hurt, I cut ties with my mother, unaware of the hidden truth months later. I discovered my mother's letter revealing that Lucy was my biological sister, adopted after her parents' death. Filled with regret and sorrow, I mourned the loss of my mother, sister, and love. The truth had shattered my world, 
leaving me with profound emptiness and unanswered questions. Despite the turmoil, life moved on, but the scars of the past lingered. I found solace in my work, trying to distract myself from the haunting memories. Each passing day reminded me of the choices made, the relationships lost, and the pain endured. Loneliness became a constant companion, and I often wondered about the twists of fate that led to such a tragic outcome. The echoes of my mother's last words haunted me, urging forgiveness and understanding. Yet, the wounds ran deep, making it challenging to reconcile with the past.As I navigated through the complexities of life, I couldn't escape the lingering question, what should I do now? The path ahead seemed uncertain, devoid of the familial bonds that once anchored my existence, I end the quest for healing, I sought therapy to confront the emotional turmoil within. The therapist guided me through a journey of self-discovery, helping me unravel the layers of grief, guilt, and resentment. It was a painful process, but gradually, I began to see glimpses of acceptance and closure. Time proved to be a gentle healer, offering moments of reflection and growth. I learned to appreciate the fleeting beauty of life and the importance of cherishing the connections that remained. Friendships blossomed, and a newfound resilience emerged from the ashes of despair. As seasons changed, so did my perspective. The scars remained, but they no longer dictated my narrative. Instead, they became a testament to the strength found in vulnerability and the capacity to rebuild after the storm. The lessons learned from the tumultuous journey became guiding lights for the future. Forgiveness, both for others and myself, became a cornerstone of my healing. The past, though painful, became a stepping stone rather than an anchored I am embracing the uncertainties of life, I discovered the power of resilience and the ability to forge new beginnings. The echoes of the past softened, allowing room for hope and possibility. The void left by lost relationships was filled with a newfound appreciation for the present and a cautious optimism for the future. I am the tapestry of life. The threads of pain and loss were intricately woven with those of growth and renewal. The story, though marked by tragedy, became a testament to the human spirit's capacity to endure, adapt, and ultimately, thrive. As I stood on the precipice of the unknown, I acknowledged the scars as integral parts of my journey. The echoes of my mother's plea for understanding resonated within urging me to live with compassion and resilience. And so, with each sunrise, I embraced the opportunity for a fresh start, determined to shape a future rooted in acceptance, gratitude, and the unwavering belief that even amidst the darkest storms, there exists the promise of a brighter dawn.